Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Docker. Today we are going to learn Dockerized Node.js Express in the MySQL example. In the previous video, we have set up the Docker with the MySQL. Now we are going to use it into our Node.js Express. Okay, so let's have a look that the, everything goes well or not. So first of all, we have to create a fresh Node.js project and I think, if, I think we have already. So let me <coughs> mark this quit. Okay. So I think I'm already in the Docker node, LS. So already there. So I'm going to go with the code. Okay. And let's, okay, okay. So just made the code over here. Okay, let's open it. Okay. Now we are going to just add, just install the MySQL to. So just install it over here. NPM install MySQL to. Let's move to the next one. So here you need to add this into our app.js file. Okay, and then the close the connection. So let's go and just add it over here. Uh, here we have an app.js file. So let me add this. Okay, so here I need to add my host. I think use the IP or the host name of the MySQL example docker container name or the IP. So here I need to add my Docker container <coughs> name for the MySQL. So let me check what exactly it is. So it is like MySQL container. Let's have a look. Or maybe if it is not working, then we'll put the ID, right? So here we will put uh, user, I think root, and the password is my password. And here we have a test DB, <coughs> test DB. Okay, let's check the connection. This is done. After this, uh, let's check out the, this is done. This is already done. The copy, expose this port and run the build. Okay, so let's run the build with this one, docker build t. Okay, so I'm going to run this. So currently it's in the 4000 port. Let's make it 3000 right now. So currently in the app.js, I haven't added the port number over here. So let me add the control A, control C, control Z. So here I need to just remove this one. Because here we need the server also port. So let's add the code over here. <coughs> Okay, the connection part and let's put this code on the above. Okay, so here we have a port number, right? And in the Docker file, we have a 4000 expose. Okay, so here we go with uh, <coughs> this one. So let's run this. <coughs> we have to build this one. <coughs> Sudo <coughs> docker build my node app. So we will add app JS with the target version this. So let's build this Docker build. Docker build X build requires exactly one argument. Okay, so that is target is missing. So target we have already added Docker pseudo Docker build hyphen T my node app. So what target is missing? start build see the docker build x build help error docker build x build requires exactly one parameter so what parameter i have missed let me check <coughs> for the building docker build i think uh, my node app let me check the docker with ps command docker ps So here we have the MySQL and the Postgres. Two containers are already running. Okay, let's let's rest of the things are stopped. Let's try to run it out. I think it should run over it. I think there is a work command over here which needs to be checked. I think okay, I think the dot is missing over here. Let me go with this one space with dot and let's run it 
I think because I am inside the container, right? So this is important on that note. So I think this is done. Let's try to build it up. So here we have to go with this one. This is completed. Now we have to run. <coughs> this is done. Let's move this one. Docker run. Command with the my node app. Okay, so here we go with this one, sudo. So I want, uh, I think it is a 4000 port, right? So let's run this on the 4000 port. 4000 port with the node, no, my node app is there, right? 1.0. So let's run this. Error, connecting to MySQL, get address, MySQL container. So there is an issue in the MySQL container. So I need to get with their ID. So the ID is like this. Let me copy this ID. And let's have a look that uh, it will work or not. Let's have a look. My container ID, Docker container name or the IP. Example Docker container name or the IP. Use the IP or the host name of your MySQL server. I think local host should work. We save this and control C. I think I need to stop this first. So I need to check this command first. Expose port. Which port is on the 4000? That is uh, 33A. So stop this. 33A. <coughs> so stop this first. Okay, so next, let's build this. So let's run this. Again, server is running at the localhost error to connecting with the refuse with this one. I think then we should use the IP of the Docker. So let me check this one statement. Give, it, give me a second. So here you can see that the connecting to the MySQL database, what I have to change is Go to the VS code and here I need to just add the IP. This is the IP of the default network whenever you do the containerization. So this is the default IP of the network. So you need to use this one as default of the hosting local host. Okay. So this is how you can see that we have successfully connected to this one network and connect to the MySQL database. So this is how you can connect to the node shares with the MySQL with the Docker. Any doubt, any query in that, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.